This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the file required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description, now let's see how to create it, create a new composition, name it as logo reveal. For this composition I will set time duration to, 8 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add the logo to the timeline, scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. Perfect. Now go to layer, select auto trace. This will create mask for the logo. Now for this logo composition, go to effects. From Video Copilot, select Saba, if you can't see this Saba option, then you need to install the Saba plugin, link is provided in the description. Now in Customize Core, select Core Type to Layer Mask, now select Preset to Fire. Here I will hide the outline. Now set Glow Intensity to, 15%. Set Glow Speed to, 0.05. Set Glow Bias to, 0.01 set core size to 2 now at near about 3 seconds create keyframe for mask evolution set it to 180 degrees now at 6 seconds change it to 50 now at start of the timeline create keyframe for start offset set it to 50%. Now at 4 seconds. Set it to 0%. You can see the preview. Now set end size to 0%. Now at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for end offset. Set it to 50%. Now at 6 seconds. Change it to, 0%. You can see the preview. Now set halo intensity to, 150%. Set halo size to, 300%. In distortion, glow distortion, set distortion amount to, 50. Perfect, here our Sabo one is created. Now let's create duplicate of this logo composition. Here for Seba, we will change preset to, Wavelet. Here I will change the glow color. Change glow intensity to, 25%. Change glow bias to, 0 0.10. Set core size to, 1. Now press U to view keyframes, for first keyframe of mask evolution, we will change it to, 0. For end keyframe, we will change rotation to, minus 130 degrees. You can see the preview.
for end keyframe of start offset, change keyframe to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph shown. For distortion, set distortion amount to 15. In render setting, set composition to transparent. You can see the effect. Now let's create duplicate of this Saber effect. Change preset to Soft Smoke. Now press U to view the keyframes. We will slightly modify Saber too. For Mask Evolution. We will change first keyframe to 120 degrees. For end keyframe, change it to 0. Now for start offset, change keyframe to 35%. For end offset, change keyframe to 35%. For Saber 2, change composite to add. You can see the effects. Perfect. Now select both logo compositions, pre-compose them. Name it as Sab logo. Now let's add the reflection media file to the timeline. For reflection, let's pre-compose it. Name it as reflection. Now let's add logo composition to the timeline. For reflection, change track mat to alpha mat logo. Now in effects and preset, search for fast box blur, add it to the reflection composition. For blur, set blur radius to 3. Set iteration to 3. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes. Add it to the logo composition. For blowiness, change blob layer to logo. Set softness to 2. Set cute away to 5. In light, change light type to point light. Adjust the light position as shown. Now again add a logo composition. Change mode to overlay. Now select Reflection and Logo Compositions, pre-compose them, I will name it as Glass Logo. For Glass Logo, press T to bring up Opacity, at 2 seconds, create keyframe for Opacity, now at start, set Opacity to 0%. Now place this composition at 3 seconds. You can see the preview. Now let's change both composition to 3D. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. Place it below. Now in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to the background layer. For Saber and Glass logo composition, change mode to add. Now for background set the color of your choice. Perfect. Now let's create a new camera. Create null object. Change null to 3D, parent camera to null. For null, press P to bring up position, 
Now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timeline, increase Z position value as shown. You can see the preview. Now change end keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer. For noise, set amount of noise to 5. Now in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our glossy fire logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.